So I've been thinking a lot about security lately, and uh, the main issue or topic of today's discussion is revolving around Google Drive and Google Drive in the workplace, uh, using Google Drive with your personal account, and you know using it in a corporate environment. So my problem is I use Google Drive for both. You know I have a folder called Work and I have a folder called Personal, and I keep all my work stuff in Work and all my personal stuff in Personal, and should I have to leave abruptly or be forced to leave or something like that? You know, these are all hypothetical situations. Um, my issue is that maybe that personal folder, you know, containing pictures and tax information and financial information and stuff like that, that my employer does not need would still be on my work computers, plural. So, I thought, you know, well, what are some solutions to this? I thought, well, maybe I could just encrypt, you know, make a encrypted file container and just stick it in the root of my Google Drive, and I could just sync that encrypted file container back and forth, which would probably be the best thing to do. Um, and that would work, but I also use my phone, you Google Drive my phone, and there's not a super easy way to unencrypt VeraCrypt file containers on an Android phone. So I was like, well, you know, that's kind of annoying. That's, that, that's kind of out. So this is what I came up with. Basically, I am keeping all of Google Drive, even the Google Drive program, inside of an encrypted file container. Good Lord, what kind of a background is that? It just kind of scrolls through them. Anyway, um, Google Drive can be portable, and Veracrypt can be portable. So Google Drive here, I just... Uh, copied all this out of the program files basically and if I were to double click this exe file it opened up the backup and sync part of it and I could sign in and you know I could do whatever I wanted so that being known this is what I came up with for Veracrypt so I've got two scripts here two PowerShell scripts one to mount the encrypted file container and one to unmount it so the one that mounts it it uh, captures a password and it just reads it into this dollar sign password variable and then it passes that into this veracrypt command and I was very specific with the paths here um, you could probably do more relative locations but so it calls veracrypt and it says hey I'm you know here's some options here I copied and pasted this whole command off Google so you can I'm sure you can find the same and it looks towards my volume which is right here, this file container, this two megabyte test file container that I made. And whenever I mount it, I'm going to give it a drive letter of X, and I'm going to label it Google Drive, and here's the password that I just captured in that dollar sign password variable. And that slash Q quits very crypt, and it doesn't show you the main page, so it's nice and neat. So directly after that, I destroy the password just by setting it to something else. And then I echo a few things, you know, drive unlocking, Password's been destroyed, so nobody can go in there and say, like, dollar sign password and see what the password was. Then I wait 10 seconds and uh, start Google Drive back up in sync. And uh, I've commented this out for this example, but I'm going to sleep for 10. And then, since I declared a drive letter, I know exactly where this Google Drive and sync.exe file is. And it's just right there beside the main folder. I said, you know, this is going to be my Google Drive folder. So... I did that, and then I echo a few more things, and then I uh, quit it. Now to unmount it, uh, I have this stop process named Google Drive Sync force it, so I'm going to halfway try to close it gracefully. And then I just use this little dismount option, and then I sleep for five for some reason. So anyway, this is it in practice. So I come here, and my password for this example is password and you probably can't see this on the recording but I'm presented with a user access control screen right now that says do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer it says Veracrypt and of course I'm gonna say yes so here's Veracrypt and as you can see down here my drives I've now got this Google Drive letter X and here's all my secrets oh, I don't have any secrets this is where I'd put my, you know, folder that says like, hey, these are files from Google Drive, and then I'd put this right in there if it was bigger than two megabytes, and uh, that's where my 
Google Drive.exe would be where I could start the backup and sync. And it works. It really works well. Uh, I'm testing this. I got it over here in another folder for production. I've been kind of fiddling around with it all day. And it seems to work really good. So now I can do an unmount. And I've got another user access control, which you guys can't see on the recording, but I'm going to click yes. I do want to let Vericrypt unmount it. And uh, now everything's gone. Now, all that red stuff that popped up was just because uh, it couldn't find a process with the name Google Drive Sync because it's not running. Anyway, that's what I've got for this. Um, I think I'm going to kind of focus on some other security things for some other videos. And I'll get back to you guys.